Kelly? 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 Oh boy, worlds collide with two very, very dear games to me, Halo and Rainbow Six Siege. This is not the first time that Siege and Halo have collaborated. Obviously, a Halo and Siege collaboration has already happened. That's not exactly why I'm making this video. I just think that the choice for this skin was very strange. First off, the Master Chief skin, I think, is very cool. It's a very, it's a very well-made skin. It's a little bit overpriced. It's, it's a lot overpriced. It's not worth the price, but it's very, it's cool. It's cool. The victory animation is also ear-splitting for the realm of Siege, where everyone's headset volume are turned up to the max so that we can all stalk each other at peak efficiency but at least it's cool and it's fun to watch <laughs> at the end of the game even though no one can hear what anyone's saying and we all just scream about how loud it is you know i I don't pay money, but other people have paid money, and uh, it's 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 fun to see it. Uh, it's fun to see the things that other people have paid for that I I don't get to have. But the overpriced Master Chief skin is, at the very least, a cultural icon, an instantly recognizable cultural icon by pretty much everybody. Even if you don't play video games, you probably know who Master Chief is. So I'm not going to call Ubisoft dumb for making that decision. It was, a, it was a very smart marketing decision. Agree or disagree whether or not it belongs in Siege, that's not really... That's not really the point of this video. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't belong in Rainbow Six Siege, but that, again, that's not the point. But Kelly? Kelly? Does anybody even know who Kelly is? Obviously, I know Kelly is not insignificant to the lore of Halo, but who, who cares? Who cares about f***ing Kelly? Who are the Halo fans playing Siege and wondering to themselves, Yeah, man, we got an epic G skin, but where's the freaking Kelly skin? That's what I want to see next. Okay, even if we just ignore the fact that this was just the most random character to pick out of the myriad of characters that could have been taken out of Halo. The people who play the games are only gonna recognize her from coming out of what is objectively the worst Halo campaign to ever infect the lore of that series. Most casual Halo fans aren't really gonna know instantly who this is and everybody who's not a Halo fan is gonna have no clue at all who this is. Like, I get it from a world-building point of view, you know, Kelly and Chief, they're teammates. They're on the same Spartan detachment. It makes sense from a lore standpoint, but to everyone else who's just looking at, oh boy, Halo character, no one, no one is going to care about that. And they're just gonna be confused. Who is this? And then what's gonna happen? They're gonna have to go do more homework. I don't know why Ubisoft loves just making the players do homework to understand things. It's really getting on my nerves. But I get it. There's a lot of backstory about her in the expanded universe of Halo. And she's not insignificant in that realm. But again, how many people are playing Siege and are that that heavily invested in the Halo expanded universe that they're gonna want to jump on a Kelly Elite skin. Who is this for? Who? Who is this for? Of all the characters, they picked Kelly. We could have gotten a Sergeant Johnson castle skin. That one actually wasn't even my idea. That was my friend who I am contractually obliged to shout out in this video. They could have made a freaking Cortana Yana. It would probably be one of the most popular elite skins that ever sold on Rainbow Six Siege. Give me 5% Ubisoft, give me 5%. They could have made a Captain Keys. Cade. I'd buy it just for the alliteration. They could have made a Captain Miranda Keys. Twitch. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. If we want to stick to Halo 5 and 343 exclusively, I could even get behind a Spartan lock. But Kelly? 
for what? Well, I can think of at least one reason why people would be buying the skin. Just to set aside the price, okay? I have my qualms with just the overpriced nature of cosmetics in general and the greed that is perpetuated by corporate entities. This was just an absolute waste of a licensing fee from Ubisoft. This was a waste of a collaboration between Ubisoft and 343. It was just a waste overall. Who was the one who greenlit this? Who was the idiot? Who was the brain dead? Maybe it was sabotage. Maybe, maybe somebody in Ubisoft was just trying to make Ubisoft look like a bunch of freaking morons. And honestly, I could get behind that. They could have chosen anybody else. Maybe not anybody else. They could have chosen so many better options. We could have gotten a brute elite skin for Oryx. Do you know how terrifying it would be to be walking through the building and then Boom! A brute chieftain just burst through the wall next to you like the freaking Kool-Aid man. That would be insane. I don't even know if I would have the gall to complain about the price after they came out with something that f***ing cool. This game is at its peak in player count right now, and this is the obscure garbage that they think is a good idea to put out. Okay, but I just, I don't know how many times I can keep saying this before I just start vomiting my own words, but please, please don't pay these greedy companies for this garbage, this thoughtless, brainless garbage that they keep putting out with absolutely just no soul behind it whatsoever. Again, Master Chief, okay, wh whatever, a cultural icon, very, very recognizable, very overpriced, but much more understandable than freaking Kelly. She looks like a narwhal going through puberty. That's a beluga, you moron. She looks a little bit like Andrew Tate with Jack Nicholson eyebrows in this one. Could have done Sergeant Johnson. You could have done Cortana. You could have done anyone else, and you picked Andrew Tate with Jack Nicholson eyebrows. Some of the crossovers that Siege did with other IPs like Rick and Morty, Resident Evil, Tomb Raider, WWE, you know, sometimes it really pisses me off seeing them running around with AK-47s, DMRs, and military grade breaching charges, but you know, sometimes you just have to acknowledge the genius marketing, and I'm willing to go ahead and give credit where credit's due. They were very smart to market the game like that and market these skins like that. They tapped into cultural icons, they tapped into gold mines. They were smart and they did these crossovers and collaborations well. This one is garbage. This is so stupid. When they came out with the Master Chief skin, I said, I am not paying for that shit. But at the same time, that's pretty cool. And that was a really smart idea. They're really smart. The fact that they did that, that was really smart. When I saw Kelly, I said, what the fuck is wrong with Ubisoft? I don't know. I just wanted to make this video to make fun of Ubisoft and not because my last Siege video did better than anything I will probably put out in the near future. That's not why I'm making it. I'm making it, I'm making it because, um, I'm making it because this is something that I'm uh, passionate about and I um, please like and subscribe so I don't have to keep making siege content. Please get me out of this hellhole. You blew it. I really just wanted to make this video so I could make fun of Ubisoft a little bit. I thought this decision was absolutely brain dead. I thought this was the stupidest thing I've ever seen of all the skins that I've seen come and go through Rainbow Six Siege. This is by far the stupidest one okay and that is in the wake of the freaking undertaker and pizza mozzie <laughs> and emo edgelord smoke which they did so dirty and i was waiting for years i was waiting for years to watch ubisoft put in plague doctor smoke and that day never came and i'm still bitter about it to this day even if i don't buy the skin i can still see it from time to time and that's cool cool to watch like i said it's fun to watch people play with things that i can't have anyway take care y'all hey y'all i just want to say real quick i want to thank everybody for tuning into my last review i got massive support i got a bunch of great comments you know everybody was putting out their thoughts what they what they liked what they hated and you know it was really great to see and i just wanted to say thanks everybody for tuning in i don't plan on making siege content regularly this is just uh you know this is just something i wanted to talk about because i thought it was both hilarious and ridiculous and a little bit weird and frustrating and just just strange just very strange overall but anyway with that said Let's get into the video.